So apparently Sony, that already owns Funimation, has now completely gained acquisition of Crunchyroll from AT&T. So I want to kind of go over this article that kind of came out and just kind of discuss what is going on here if you don't understand what has actually happened this past week. So Sony Pictures Entertainment and AT&T announced on Monday that Sony's Funimation Global Group has completed its acquisition of Crunchyroll from AT&T. The purchase price was $1.1 billion and the proceeds were paid in cash at closing. AT&T expects to use the proceeds from this transaction to help support its debt reduction efforts. The announcement did not reveal how or if the individual streaming platforms would merge or plans for subscription costs for users. Crunchyroll's own announcement reads, The two brands you know and love will be working together and we believe that is a great thing for fans and the industry alike. Both teams are knowledgeable, passionate, and have been committed to the anime community for decades. We couldn't ask for better partners. We know you may have questions. Today we begin the work of bringing two awesome teams together to bring you more of what you love. Thank you for your trust and support. And on Funimation's blog, this is what they said. Funimation's blog also updated with news adding, Our first priority is you, the millions of fans who form the global community that is anime. And now that we have the opportunity to create a unified anime subscription experience that puts fans first, offers the most uh, comprehensive lineup ever, there's a lot to do. So the work begins today to make it happen. So to kind of give some context to this whole ordeal, Sony effectively has a monopoly now over the entire anime industry, at the very least in the West. Now, obviously, there is some companies that are, are not owned by Sony that also grab anime, for instance, like Netflix, Amazon, and even Hulu. However, when you really think about, let's say, seasonal anime and big anime that continuously come out each season, it's usually Funimation or Crunchyroll that grabs said series. I think everybody knows this. And now that Sony has effectively grabbed two of the major companies that deliver us anime in the West... They now can control basically all of the anime. They, they control a lot of it. And we already know when it comes to Funimation, they're not necessarily innocent when it comes to, let's say, censorship or kind of like changing subtitles to fit a better narrative. We've seen this done in the past, and people have some problems with Funimation. And this also has happened with Crunchyroll too, so they're not entirely you know, I guess, out of harm's way when it comes to my critique. But the point, though, is, is that now that Sony has both of these companies, we are probably going to see some things that's happened on Funimation now happening with Crunchyroll. But on top of that as well, I do wonder what is going to happen to the sites. Because they even state with the blog post that I talked about that they want to actually potentially unify the anime subscription experience. So this means that if, let's say, you own a Funimation subscription, you probably will also own a Crunchyroll subscription, which... At the end of the day, that is a big win for people that want to watch anime. Instead of paying for multiple subscription services to watch a slight few anime, you now just pay one and you have all of it. I could definitely see the appeal and why this is indeed great news. However, once again, this goes back to the reason why you want multiple companies competing with each other is because it allows companies to innovate. It allows companies to continuously have to try to change to better themselves to actually one-up each other for the customers can have a better experience. And so this is where I want to navigate to Funimation's website. If you have ever browsed Funimation's website, you will know how awful, how absolutely atrocious it is to find anything on that site to watch. I absolutely hate having to watch anime on Funimation. They have some really good anime, but I absolutely hate watching series on their site. Even using the app on my Xbox is outright garbage. So I have never liked Funimation's website and they do not make it any better. They have not changed it in years. It is awful. And I honestly prefer Crunchyroll's website, even if it isn't perfect. I prefer Crunchyroll's website that at least functions and I can find things if I want to watch things. And now that Sony has, like I said, acquired Crunchyroll, I wonder if they're going to, let's say, shove Crunchyroll site into Funimation and they're going to get rid of Crunchyroll or if they're going to make a whole new website or if they're going to shove Funimation into Crunchyroll. Personally, I hope they shove it into Crunchyroll, but I, I really hope that they don't dismantle Crunchyroll and just shove it into Funimation. It would make me very upset if that is indeed the case. But uh, yeah, that, that's one of the reasons why having multiple brands competing with each other is very important because it forces different companies to innovate and make their service better. So just like, I hope 
that this merger turns out to be good news, but I am very skeptical on the future of certain things because I do hope that we don't have a garbage website. I, I really want something I can navigate easily and find the anime I actually, you know, want to watch. But I guess I'll leave it at that, though. I just wanted to quickly talk about this. How do you feel about Sony basically acquiring a monopoly on anime in the West? Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think this is a bad thing? Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below. But with that, guys, be safe, stay healthy, chibi out.